celebrate Queen Elizabeth's seven decades on the throne. She's 95 years old. Recently, she came down with COVID just a few weeks ago. In this weekend's edition of London Calling, CBS News contributor Simon Bates asked his fellow Brits if they're asking too much of the Queen. But before we do that, we should note Simon's opinions are his own, not necessarily reflective of all of us here at CBS News. Here in Britain, it's a fact that whenever we want to feel a little more cheerful, we turn our attention to the royal family, or more specifically to the Queen. The last time we made a big fuss of her was 10 years ago for her Diamond Jubilee, when she was in her 80s and her late husband, Prince Philip, had just turned 90. The two of them were widely admired for staying the course as they stood and watched a windswept jubilee pageant from a special barge as it navigated its way down the middle of the River Thames. Both the Queen and her consort braved the terrible weather, following her own doctrine, as they always had, of I have to be seen to be believed. Now, a decade later, Prince Philip is gone and the jubilee has come around again, this time the platinum one, marking 70 years on the throne. Those rather embarrassing issues of family strife can be briefly put to one side. As the British government has chosen an extended weekend in June as the focus for the celebrations. And once again, Queen Elizabeth will be expected to be seen at all the major events because, like a rock star, everyone wants a piece of Her Majesty. Next month she turns 96 and she's just been unwell with the virus and there is a sense that she's been preparing for the end of her reign, if only in her public declaration that she wants Prince Charles' second wife, Camilla, to be crowned Queen Consort when he inherits the throne. So are we asking too much of Queen Elizabeth in this special year of commemoration? Are we being fair to a monarch who's served us so well for nearly all her adult life? because maybe it's time to review her participation in several of the Jubilee events and make it absolutely clear to everyone she can't possibly attend them all. That's London Calling for today. This is Simon Bates for CBS News in Devon. That funky music tells us it is time for the Tech Watch. 